Hey there, welcome to our tutorial for using the world's desktop editor. Today, we're going to set up everything you need to start creating amazing experiences right from your computer. My name's Andy, and I'm a game developer in Unit 2 Games here at Meta, and I'm excited to show you how to get your development environment ready for building in Worlds. Setting up your environment properly will make creating so much easier. When we're done, you'll be able to set up efficient workflows for scripting and organizing your code efficiently. You can keep all your project assets organized in folders that make sense to you. And you will use special features that only work when your headset is connected to your PC. But it all starts with the setup. The Desktop Editor is a powerful tool that streamlines mobile development whilst also supporting cross-platform creation. Before watching this video, you should install the Desktop Editor using the instructions from the Install and Run Desktop Editor. In order to write and edit your own script for Worlds, you'll need an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and it's a general term used in programming to refer to coding applications. By default, the Desktop Editor uses Visual Studio Code, but you can configure it to use another IDE if you prefer. It's important to note that you need to make sure you use version 4.7.4 of TypeScript or newer when working with Worlds APIs to avoid compatibility issues. OK, let's look at installing VS Code. So if I search for VS Code, I should be able to find the VS Code installer. And I'll click the Download for Windows to start downloading it. Once it's downloaded, I can open it and install VS Code on my system. OK. Let's look at configuring the desktop editor to use VS Code. So to start with, I'm going to open the Scripts panel. Then I'm going to select the Settings cog. And then I'm going to choose the Select button next to External Editor within the Script Editing menu. So I'm going to press Select here. This will bring up a file explorer. And I need to go and find my Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to enter Program Files. And then in here, I should be able to find Microsoft VS Code. And then within there, it's the code executable here. I click Open. And that should then link up my code exe. I can click Apply. And that will then apply this so that now the world's desktop editor is linked to the VS Code editor. Now, when I want to edit a script, I click the ellipsis, the three dots here, and choose Open in External Editor. And this will open VS Code so that I can edit that script. Note that similar steps can be followed for configuring alternative third-party IDEs if you prefer. The Desktop Editor offers an Open in External Editor option that launches your configured IDE. VS Code integration works by accessing and modifying the TypeScript.ts files saved in your world's local folder. So here you can see I've got dummyscript.ts. And um, this is one of the TypeScript files that I might want to edit in the IDE. Some important workflow considerations to keep in mind are changes made in VS Code will only be reflected if the files are saved in the world folder created on your local computer. Changes need to be made while the world is open in the desktop editor, or you've got to open the world later to propagate those changes from your TypeScript file back up to your world. When you open a world in Desktop Editor, it automatically checks for changes in the local copy of scripts by comparing them with the server version. So a few recommended workflow options would be things like use two monitors, one with VS Code open and the other with the Desktop Editor open. Or alternatively, if you've got one ultra-wide monitor, you might want to split the view between the Desktop Editor and VS Code. Or if you've just got one monitor, have both of these applications open and then use Alt and Tab at the same time to switch between them quickly. It's important to change the default save location too. The default locations can sometimes conflict with Windows Cloud Storage settings. So changing to a specific local folder gives you better control over your project files. Custom locations also help avoid sync conflicts and permission issues that can corrupt your work. Let's look at how to change the local folder settings. So just like we did with the uh, changing the IDE, let's open our scripts panel, click the Settings cog, and select the external editor directory. Press the Select button here. And we can choose somewhere else that we want to save our TypeScript files. So I'm going to click on Documents. And I created a folder here earlier, Andy's Worlds. I'm going to click on that, press OK, and then Apply. 
if I open Andy's Worlds in um, a file explorer, I should be able to see a folder for each world that I have TypeScript files for. Next, let's discuss version control. What is it and why is it important? Version control systems help track changes to your code over time. Version control systems like Git or GitHub can be integrated for use. Snapshots are saved automatically. However, you'll need to be very careful not to lose all your updates if you revert to a prior version. Proper file location is crucial for implementing Git or GitHub effectively. So use clear, consistent file naming conventions as these make collaboration easier. And some other important things to consider are things like you can't create new folders inside your world's location. So in, um, in my script, I can't create folders here. So I need to make sure that I'm using a really good naming convention for my scripts uh, to keep them organized. All right, building on our earlier discussion of desktop editor configuration, let's explore now how to connect your VR headset for additional capabilities. The desktop editor allows creators to seamlessly move between desktop and VR environments during development by connecting a VR device to your PC. Editing the world in headset allows you to use your hands to move and configure objects naturally, which is an alternative approach to the gimbal-based manipulation and the keyboard and mouse we use on the desktop editor. Editing scripts through the desktop editor is the recommended approach for code development. An edit mode session in headset refers to entering your world in VR with creator tools enabled, allowing you to make changes to your experience whilst you're immersed inside it. It's important to note, though, that some things can only be done with a headset. VR editing provides some unique capabilities for specific tasks, like configuring and testing digital goods, which can only be tested properly in VR, getting detailed performance traces without having to publish your world, and I find that asset placement is a bit more intuitive for artists using their hand controls versus the keyboard and mouse uh, desktop manipulation. To access your world in VR, use the standalone method launch worlds directly on your headset. To switch from desktop to VR, use the switch to VR button in the desktop editor. To switch back from VR to desktop, press the escape key on your keyboard when using the MetaQuest link. Changes made in either environment immediately appear in the other, providing a seamless workflow. During prototyping, use VR for rapid scene layout and asset placement when artists want to sketch ideas quickly. And when you're mid-project or towards completion, Use VR for configuring digital goods purchases and conducting performance tests. Throughout development, it's a good idea to use the desktop editor for your scripting and code development. The desktop editor provides professional-grade tools for platform creation. The configurations we've covered today create a more efficient mobile development workflow. Each element works together to create a streamlined environment. The external IDE setup enhances your coding experience. Proper file location prevents any technical issues. VS Code extensions enhance productivity and streamline your workflow, and VR Connection provides some additional capabilities for specific development tasks. With the setup complete, you can now build experiences like interactive mobile games with optimized performance, social experiences that work seamlessly across devices, some educational content with well-structured code and assets, and you can also create monetized experiences with properly tested in-world purchases or multi-platform experiences that work great on both VR and mobile. This initial time investment in proper setup will save hours of troubleshooting later. As your projects grow in complexity, the tools that we've talked about today will scale with your needs. The workflow habits you develop now will transfer to future platform updates. So start with a simple project to test your new development environment. Join the Meta Horizon Creator Program, or MHCP, to share experiences and get some help when you need it. And explore the documentation for more advanced features as you become comfortable with the basics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Worlds.